get through All our routine exchange with an eye on work count Hey guys, welcome back to the Volan Homestead I'm Tiffany And I'm Ethan <laughs> And we're coming to you from Midland, Michigan This has been a long time since we've done one of these Yeah, the last time month. we actually <laughs> podcast was on January 22nd Yes, this is episode 83 It's March 2nd It's snowing Yes, it is it hasn't stopped snowing. No, it has not. I'm sure anybody in the Midwest has been oh my gosh. experiencing all of this as well. But I. Uh, but yeah, we've uh, we've been pretty busy over the last month. Had uh, some life stuff come up that yeah. I mean so for the good. Pretty big good. life stuff. So pretty big life stuff, and we're excited to share that in life stuff. We'll let everybody know where we've been, yeah. or where we've been, where we're going, and. Uh, kind of what's been going on. Yes, yeah, so you gotta wait till the end of the podcast for it though. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> We're gonna make you guys wait just a little bit longer. I know you guys were having a lot of fun guessing what was going on in our uh, <laughs> on our Instagram post last night. Yeah. That was really fun. <laughs> but we've been pretty absent from social media yeah. as well, which has been helpful. Just mm -hmm. I think everybody kind of needs a social media break for a while. Oh yeah. Uh, and it, 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 it was nice. It was very, very nice mentally to yep. have a break nice from good social reset. media. Yeah, totally. But I am drinking um, David's tea in the Serenity Now flavor that's organic and it's caffeine free and it is so delicious. I'm loving this. This is the first time I've ever tried this. It's and so I good. am drinking decaf black coffee mm. in my woof mug. Well, it's actually your <laughs> woof mug. Yes, my niece got me that for Christmas. And it's, it's a so solid cute. mug. It's a great mug. Mine says keep calm and keep knitting, which your brother got me for Christmas last year. So, mm -hmm. so good. So we don't have any cows going on right now, which no. is good because we don't have time to run them Zero or time. <laughs> moderate uh, Ravelry threads. Yeah. Uh, and as far as finished objects, I don't have any DEU. No, no, I don't really have anything. Um, I have one half finished object, but I'm just going to wait to show you guys that later. Um, but I do have some works in progress. All right, let's show that. Okay. So. So this big pile of loveliness is the start of a Marled Magic sweater by Stephen West. Um, I cast this on January 24th and I am on section 8. Um, yeah, section 8 of the sweater. And I think there's like 14 sections total. So it's really exciting. I'm loving this knit. I've been obsessively working on it. I'm never really a monogamous knitter and I just love working on this thing. I've been working on it a ton. And, um, yeah, this is the you front. You have pretty much every night Yeah, you work on this. So this is the front. This is the neckline right here. So this, it'll lay like that, and then you'll pick up stitches for the collar. And then the arm will be over here like that. And, yeah, you pick up stitches for the um, cuffs and I think around the bottom as well maybe. Is I'm this your sure. first time working with mohair? Yes, this is my very first time. I've never worked with it before and oh my word, I love it. It's so fuzzy and soft and furry and I dyed up. And the best part is the it. dog hair doesn't show. Yes, That's... I can't tell because <laughs> it's so fuzzy. Um, so I'm carrying this colorway throughout. I had dyed up like five skeins of this. Um, but yeah, didn't write down the um, recipe for it. So I just... Went to town and I am. Well, and that was dyed in this. a pot too, wasn't it? Or was uh, that in the long pan. That was dyed in a long pan. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you could probably kind of reproduce it, but it would I not could do look, something close. Yeah. yeah. But like, if I run out, I can probably get something close enough for it. But yeah, but I when I was making it, I didn't really write it down. But yeah, I am so cool loving this. It's a Stephen West pattern, but it's something that will definitely go with a lot of the things you like to wear. Yeah, which like is it's nice. My colors. Yep. Yeah, and I'm just I've got a ton of different yarns in here. Um, they're all fingering weight yarns held with the mohair, which is a lace weight. Which, you know, I, I gotta say, I don't think I've ever seen you knit a neutral even. I, I know this isn't neutral, but I don't think you've ever knit like a neutral sweater or. A, Cowl or um, a, that pink sweater of like one that like that's not really colored. neutral though. I mean, no. I'm talking like black gray. Mm, not for a sweater. Yeah, no. or or even a cowl or a. Or a I shawl. knit a um, I knit a sh uh, shawl that was gray with blue, like a gradient blue in it. Oh, that's but, right. That's right. But that's still not really neutral either. But that's about the most neutral thing I've got. <laughs> <laughs> but this is pretty tame as far as your color choices. It is, but it's also. I really like it. Um, oh yeah, it looks great. 
Like, I, they're all my favorite colors, but in a way that I think I'll wear them. And what are you knitting it on? Um, those are Addy Turbos. It's from the Interchangeable set. I'm, or Addy, Addy Basics. Yeah, I gotta Netflix. think. I gotta say though, I used to think that these Addy Clicks were pointless, and I'll explain why I used to think they were pointless. I used to think they were pointless because, in order to attach the needles to the cable, you still have to go through the same motion of putting the cable or putting the needle on the cable and performing a clockwise twisting motion like you would if you were to screw on. Right. A, a cable. But you don't need the key. And that's the key. Yeah. <laughs> but that yeah. is, serious. that's what's really nice about these, is not having to use a key. And, I mean, you do have to use the gripper, especially if you have... Uh, especially in the weaker, beginning. Yeah, especially in the beginning. But they don't come undone on but you But, like, anymore, right now, yeah, no, not at all. And uh, now you don't really need the, the gripper at all. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty cool. It's yeah. Just to be able to quickly change those out especially when you're doing projects that would require changing things frequently. Yeah. Like changing needle sizes relatively frequently or even something like a hat. Well, in this one, I've got the extender on here too to because I've got a, I think, I don't remember even what it called for, but I think I was already using my 40 inch cable. <laughs> so I just put the little extender on there that comes with it to make it a longer cable and it's worked out perfectly. I love it. And I've got a little stitch marker that my mom made me for Christmas. It's a little... Now, do you oh, notice? Go. Do you notice any snagging on the joins here? Mm-mm. Because -mm. you've got kind of like a. That's cute. You've got kind of like a lip on the edge of these needles here, and. Oh yeah, every once in a while, but it's not bad. It's not like the boy needles. Right I had a really hard time with those. Like your finger will catch on it. Yeah, that's not so, too bad though. It's not bad. Mm-mm. That's. Yeah, I, just I would really imagine. Like have you ever knit? Are. Have you ever knit like singles with it? Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah. And these are kind of a blunt tip as well. Yeah, so. I really like them. Yeah, they're nice. I like the. I this is really kind of a dumb reason to like them, but I think the color of the cable is so cool. Right. Being translucent blue. Yeah, it's really cool. Now, does that have a spot for a lifeline in the in the cables? Uh, yes, maybe, maybe not. I thought this was the one where. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can like pull it apart. Okay. I saw in the, I haven't done it, but I saw in the, um, yeah, there we go. You like pull it apart. Yeah, it so little... to show people yeah. that haven't seen it, I mean, I'm sure most people have, but it's like uh Like a big old hole. Yeah, let's see if we can get that to focus. You can kind of see in the center of the cable right there, if you pop it apart, it will, you can insert that in there. There you go. Yeah. Cool. It's kind of neat. Yeah. I don't think any other needles do that. I think they're the only ones that do that. So. Um, the other project that I've got is a Midas hat. Um, is that for I you? I think. Yeah. No, yeah, this one's for me. Um, I can't. Speaking of tame colors. Yeah. And see what I mean? <laughs> like this is my usual, but I love it. I love it so much. It makes me happy. Um, but this is a uh, homespun house in the Mirth colorway, and it's the Midas hat. The name of the designer is escaping me at the moment, but um. It's a free pattern, and it uses fingering weight yarn. It's got a folded brim that you provisionally cast on, and yeah, it was really, really easy. I'm liking it. So now I'm just onto the straight knitting, and How'd you like the provisional it. cast on? I didn't mind it. Um, yeah, no, I didn't mind it at all. I just used, like, um, cotton yarn. I used a Very Pink Knits tutorial to do it. But yeah, I didn't mind it at all. I've this learned so much from that channel. Oh, I know it. This is my progress keeper. This is another one that my mommy made me for Christmas. It's got a little paw print with a little gem on it. So cute. I love those. So, yeah, those are my works in progress. Yeah, we don't have a ton because we, well, you've been pretty <laughs> well, monogamous. Well, I've still got plenty of projects, but I haven't touched them. You've been a pretty monogamous man. Yeah, it's and so I not like me. I haven't really all. had uh, a ton of time to knit. I mean, I love knitting, but it's it's kind of like your yeah. main hobby. I've got a lot of other satellite hobbies. Yeah, you've hobbies. got other things that you'd, you'd exactly. like to do it, but you've got other things you'd rather be doing. And that's well, totally fine. I don't know as to whether I'd, as, as, I don't know as to whether I'd rather be doing. It's just that Preference. generally, I'm, I like to be active like as much as possible. Mm -hmm. I mean, just not saying that you're inactive, but, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I like to, I like to be moving all all day. Uh, otherwise, I end up not sleeping at night. Yeah. And as it is, I don't really sleep at night. But 
so I think and it's hard for me to be like I can't be knitting and reloading you know yeah. ammunition or right. I can't be knitting and fit well I could be knitting and fishing yeah I should probably do that more yeah. that's yeah you I don't just really to, ice fish though right I do not ice fish ice fish scares the crap out of me yeah, ice no fishing way. scares the crap out of me and I understand it's perfectly safe like I understand that it's safe I understand that you can drive trucks across the ice here in Michigan, but I just cannot get over my fear of ice fishing. No. I don't mind, I, I mean, I don't mind getting off of a boat in the middle of a lake. That doesn't bother me. Yeah. It's being on ice, and anybody that's been on ice, and, and people that have, that have done ice fishing will know what I'm talking about. You're out in the middle of the lake, the ice shifts, and it'll make the weirdest noises, <laughs> and it sounds like it's breaking. Yeah. And it'll, um, and it's actually, I'm, I'm told that that's new ice forming. But it's the it's it's really creepy. Yeah. Uh, and so I don't I don't ice fish. So the the period between the end of deer season in December and the beginning of regular fishing season, which thankfully is coming up here in a couple of weeks, <laughs> I got nothing. Yeah. Pretty much. I mean, I go out. Well, now you've kind of got. Um... Now I've got video games. Yeah, see, so now you've got your <laughs> Switch. That's been yeah. nice. Yeah, it has been. It's been really fun. We, like, at nighttime, he'll play his video game, and then I'll watch, you yeah. know, and just whatever kind of video is on YouTube, whether it's dog grooming videos, or I'll watch, um, you know, podcasts or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, or like last night, we were watching Mystery Science Theater 3000, which we love. That was enjoyable. Yes. <laughs> and so it's really nice. We can, you can play your game, I'll knit, and then we get to enjoy the evening together, and... Just Which, hang out. as so. far as mystery science theater, we want to so, clarify something really quick. Oh yeah, in a previous yes. video, in case yes. anybody has seen this video, we got an email concerned about. Yes, we want uh, to clear this up. <laughs> we got an email concerned about the thumbnail we used in one Vlogmas of our Christmas day 14. Vlog. Was it Vlogmas Day 14? Mm -hmm. And it shows, uh, it shows what appears to be uh, Satan on this, um, on this thumbnail. What that thumbnail was of is it's a still shot from one of the mystery science theater movies and it was santa claus versus i think it's called bad santa no no i always call that it's called you, santa claus i always call santa, it bad santa because <laughs> santa's the good guy in this one uh, i know i don't know why i call it bad santa anyway, every time i think that movie too but so it's um <laughs> you call it bad every santa. single time you call it bad santa this is the screenshot so yeah but yeah it's vlogmas day 14 yeah, and, and basically, um, that's a screenshot of of Santa Claus, and it's a 1950s, I think? Yeah. 1950s Mexican film. It's just so And funny. it was just like, it was, it was like a, just a B-movie kind of just, ter I don't even know if it was B-movie <laughs> material. It was terrible. <laughs> and funny. so Mystery Science Theater, they... It, the premise is these guys are stuck on a spaceship, or this guy's stuck on a spaceship. He creates these robot friends of his, and they go in and they're forced to watch these terrible movies. And then, in order to keep their sanity, they make fun of the terrible movies. It's so funny. If it's you've hilarious. never watched the show, you, you need to watch it. You need it's to watch so it. It's so funny. There's, yeah, there's, I mean, they change the cast once in a while, but it, it, it's all good. And uh, usually they'll they'll do like old horror movies and stuff, but this one happened to be about Santa Claus, and it was Santa Claus versus like the devil or or demons he had demons name, or something it pitch was, pitch, pitch yeah. was the the demon and pitch was sent to corrupt all the children on earth and santa claus had to had to basically battle pitch and he essentially prevailed well <laughs> tiffany thought it was funny to just put the thumbnail of the uh, i'm going to say it was <laughs> Well, I don't your, drink your, eggnog, but that's my excuse. Yeah, right. too much you eggnog. Neither of us drink. Uh, but, so she put the thumbnail up with no explanation, like, on the thumbnail. And uh, I think it was actually one of our humor. lowest, I think it was one of our lowest viewed videos <laughs> ever. That's because that's my humor. I'll think something is hilarious and, like, nobody else will think right. it's funny. I'm like, this is so funny. And everyone's like... Okay. So that's what that is, was uh, a still shot from that episode. Because watching Mystery Science Theater is a... Uh, like a pastime of ours. Oh, it's a, that's so funny. We do like to watch it at Christmas time, especially. We just kind of that just kind of became a random tradition of it ours. Did. But we love it. We love it. And then we found out there was a Christmas one, and that's the Santa Claus. And 
so we watch it every year now. So funny. And that, so that's what we were doing on Vlogmas Day 14. Which is why there was a thumbnail yeah, of, of the Satan double. on... Well, it, was, <laughs> it wasn't Satan, though. It was it was just one of his minions, but... Oh, it was one of his minions in a horrible costume. Terrible costume. Like, you truly have to watch this. I think it's actually on YouTube. It is, The yeah. episode's on YouTube. That's so it's funny. It's great. But anyway, uh, as far yeah, as... Yeah, so we wanted to clarify that. That's what that weird screenshot yeah, was. Yeah, exactly. So that's what that... Just, uh... We'll say it was too much sugar. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, as far as acquisitions, mm. in our P.O. box, we got yes. the sweetest package ever. Yes, this is from Annette. Yes. And she had messaged us and said um, she had wanted, because when we were talking about having a hard time with caffe caffeinated teas, um, like you really have to stay away from those now. Yeah, I can... McDonald's accidentally gave me full calf the other day. It was bad. It day. was bad. Yeah. So I um, I I can have a little bit of caffeine still, but I just still kind of try to stay away from it as well. Every once in a while, I need a little pick me up. But um, but she said she wanted to share with us some of her favorite caffeine-free teas. So she sent us a box of David's tea, which. Oh my word, so yummy. First of all, cute box. Mm -hmm. And... And a really nice card, too. Yes, oh, such How a cute card. How sweet is that? And um, so these are the teas that she sent. And I originally thought these were all the same flavor, like the orange was one flavor and the yellow was one flavor. And I found out today, as I was making my yep. tea, that there's a bunch of different flavors in here. So this is the one I'm pretty pumped about. Yes, I tried that one and I really This is Organic it. Cinnamon Rubos Chai. And I had... I've actually had a couple of these so far. They're amazing. And like, when do you ever see chai caffeine free? Like, never. I've never, never seen it. I mean, maybe I just don't look hard enough, but I've never seen. But it it's so free. good. It is. I had that one so as well. So flavorful. There's. Super I only need ginger. one. Yeah, and I only need one of those in order to. Yeah, it's a very strong. It's very tea. strong, which is nice because usually I have to put two tea bags in in order yeah. to get anything as strong as I like it. Um, so we've got super ginger, and let's see, um, serenity now, that's the one I'm having, which I really like, forever nuts, and strawberry rhubarb parfait, I've had that one before and I love it, oh my gosh, I love that one, cold 911, ooh, that'll be good, we'll save those for sure, and just peachy, and yeah, those are the flavors that we've got, so thank you so much, Annette. David's tea is so delicious. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to stock up on some of that. I really highly well. recommend it to yeah, anybody. Yeah, it's so good. So thank you, thank you, thank you. It was so. Do you know kind where you, you can buy David's tea? I just know online. I don't. Online. I think I think the U.S. has some. This is I think a, a Canadian-based company. Okay. But um, I know that there is an online store, and I think there are some actual like brick-and-mortar stores, but there's not any around here that I know okay. of. Maybe so, like Detroit or something. Like but... mass retailers, Walmart, Meyer, mm -mm, nothing no, like that. No, be like okay. that. It's kind of like how uh, isn't it Starbucks has Tivon and they have like their own stores. I think that's one. It's kind of like that. So, yeah, that was really awesome. Um, it that's, was awesome. That's our only acquisitions, I believe. And we're gonna gosh. remember an acquisition after we get the podcast every time. done every single time. But every time. Uh, I think that's all we've got. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> like tax returns. Podcast can oh. be amended. Uh, we haven't knocked on wood. Haven't had to do an amended tax return. That took up uh, a lot of our time. Yeah, but... actually, you want to know what really took up a ton of time was us doing our taxes. Yeah. Uh, so we. We have a shop update. Last year, well, yeah, we can do the shop update yeah. in just a minute. But this kind of like ties in with the mm -hmm. shop update. Mm -hmm. uh, so last year, the podcast and the shop exploded in yeah. popularity, and we have you guys to thank for it, yes, and we definitely want to so give you guys a huge solid thank you, and that was, like, beyond all of our wildest imagination, and truly... Way more than we thought it would ever. Yep, some of the things that you guys helped us do last year by helping, you know, purchase yarn, um, you know, watching the podcast, sharing uh, it, sharing it uh, liking anything. the videos, liking the videos and commenting boosts our, our views, which boosts people that, you know, see the yarn, uh, and then, you know, maybe purchase the yarn. And, you know, we kind of use the yarn as like a way to kind of fund the podcast as well. And it's mm -hmm. what I was doing as a full-time job. So last year, you guys helped us pay for all my medical bills. Yes, about last summer. Um, you if know, you were, that was... If you were here for that, it yep. had a really big... 
we had thousands of dollars in medical bills that we had to pay for me that luckily we did not have to go into debt for yes. that we were able to pay cash not have to worry about so you guys helped us pay for that so thank you yes thank you, you. guys uh, kept my dog alive mm -hmm. uh, because we were able to upfront afford the thousands of dollars in treatment for him yeah um, that he's doing he's doing he's better. doing great yeah he's mm -hmm. I mean he's a little you can tell it took a lot out of him. Yeah, you know he's, he's not changed quite a the little, same. Mm -hmm. But he's he's a happy boy. He's, he's a happy very boy. happy. And he's, he's just eating. He's hair like he, nobody's business. Yeah, shutting like, ugh, um, like crazy. But you guys helped us buy a new truck. Yeah. <laughs> well, not a new truck. New to us. Yeah. Um, it was it's been used, <laughs> but new to us. Yeah. But new to us. Um, so, like you, your guys' contributions, and and even if you, even if you either couldn't afford to buy yarn or just didn't like the yarn that's okay too uh and so you didn't purchase any yarn but you you watched a video or you liked the video or you commented anywhere whether on instagram or on youtube you guys that that alone helps mm -hmm. you know because that that boosts uh for one it boosts interaction uh which helps our videos get seen a little bit better but also it just kind of helps give us feedback on on how we're doing that people like the podcast which is really really good positive reinforcement yeah when we do this you know week after week so we truly did want to say thank you so yes, much thank uh, you thank you so much thank you for buying the iron for for interacting we love hearing from you guys we love talking with you guys i know we haven't been as good about it over the last couple of weeks no but <laughs> i've been horrible uh, at it. <laughs> but thank you so much from the yes. bottom of our hearts thank you thank you so for shop update, we are going to be having a shop update um, on Friday, March 8th <laughs> at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Yes. And it's going to be a huge shop update. I'm going to be dying like a madman this week. Uh, and most of the stuff that's going to be in the shop is going to be one of a kind. Yeah. Almost all of it. Uh, we'll have some stuff returning. Uh, we'll have, we're actually going to have some, some favorites returning because we're probably not going to be doing a whole lot of dyeing over the next weeks to months based on the big news that we have. Right. And the big news is Tiffany is not pregnant. <laughs> no. Uh, not pregnant. I know everybody thought that. <laughs> um, a lot of people thought that. No, we don't want kids. Uh, we we like our free time too much uh, and we like sleep too much. Yeah. Uh, but hey, more power to people that want kids. Like, it's it, being a parent is is some truly gratifying work, yes. I'm sure, but it's not gratifying work for us. It's definitely not in the, the plans for us. Mm -mm. I mean, who knows, years down the line, we could change our mind, but at the moment, that's not... That's true. Not where we're we going. Could. But no, the big news is, we are... Moving! Yeah, we're looking at buying our first house. Yes. So we're pretty excited about that. And we are staying in the area. Yes, we are. Yep. So people that, that, you know, that we interact with around here, we are staying in the area. Yes, but. we are. We, we pretty much have to. Yeah. You know, for your, for your job. Yep. Um, so, yeah, it's it's really excited for us. Being homeowners has been a dream of ours since we got first together. got together. And it's we've been together for seven years this yep. May. So yep. it's it's going to be pretty cool for us to be able to finally take that step and, and become homeowners. Yay. Um, but it's tying up a lot of our time. Yes. It takes uh, a lot of mental time. I'm sure as anybody who's ever bought a house, this is our first time ever buying a house. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a lot of a lot of firsts going on. So, trying to figure everything out and making sure we're doing everything, you know, the right so, way. So, in order to not have to move as much stock and to try and, like, get everything set up for the new house, we're going to have a huge shop update uh, that'll kind of be like a... We'll call it a housewarming shop update, even though we don't have a house yet, but it, you know, just to kind of help us get into the new place. Yeah. Um, and so a bunch of the stuff is going to be one of a kind, but I'm also going to bring back a couple of favorites. We're going to have my favorite colors, October in the shop because I don't in know. March. <laughs> yeah. In March. Um, because I don't know how much dying I'm going to be able to get to this fall. I'm yeah, also we have looking no at, idea. I'm looking at going back into healthcare right now. Um, and I'm looking at a full-time position, uh, in the healthcare field again, uh, right now that I, and, and I've, I found a position that I'm really interested in. Um, it's lots of big that, changes. Yeah. So, so I'm not sure exactly how much time we're going to have to dye yarn anymore. Yeah. So it could be going forward that it's, you know, 
maybe in the summer I decide to dye up a sweater's quantity for something and I've got a couple extra left over and I, I throw that in the shop and that right. that might be what it's going to be for the future, but who knows? We have and no idea. So that's kind of where we're at. Right. And as anybody that works in healthcare knows, my schedule's probably not going to be uh, pretty solid. Like I, I'm going to be working weekends, holidays, nights, uh, if, if I get this position. Me. So yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and, and even if I don't get the particular position I'm looking at, I'm still looking at a full-time benefited position in back in healthcare, uh, yeah. which is where my background is uh, originally. So yeah. it'll be it'll be awesome. So the upshot is, yeah, big, huge shop update Friday the 8th at 6 p.m. Eastern yes. uh, time. And like I said, bunch of, bunch of... Uh, one of a kind colorways that we you guys want to really see. stock the shop for yeah. you guys that because we will be gone essentially yeah you know so we want to make sure that anyone that you know wants to grab our yarn they've got the opportunity to do it so exactly um also i figured we should also mention for our wisconsin viewers yes that our yarn is going to be at knit circus yarns and that is in may and i just want to remember which town they're in um because i don't remember off the top of my head yeah so we will be our yarn will be at Knit Circus. We won't be. Right. Um, but we're pretty excited about that as well. So you've got two opportunities to, <laughs> you've got two for sure opportunities to get our, to get a hold of the Woolen Homestead yarn. Uh, and that is this next Friday um, update at, at uh, 6 p.m. And then the Knit Circus um, trunk show. So... Yeah, I'm not um, exactly which sure which uh, which date it is, but if if it's we, in Madison, is it in Madison? Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, but I know it's in May. Um, so Jennifer from Driftless Knitter, she works there, and so she um, kind of helped us get that set up. So yeah, so we'll have more um, information as it gets a little closer. You'll probably see it most likely on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Be where you'll get just because we don't know we don't know what what's going on. We have a very <laughs> cloudy future of the podcast and, and the shop going forward right. so we're gonna try and podcast yeah um, so we're gonna bit, keep it but going. yeah we we totally love you guys we love we love spending time with you guys each week yeah uh and it's just gonna the other thing it's gonna depend on is how much we see each other because if i yeah. if i get to working uh because right now i'm working pretty much full-time for for the wall and homestead uh and which means that we can podcast whenever you've got a day right. off. Right, we only have to worry about one schedule Right. versus two. And so, so when I'm working full-time, you know, if we're on opposite shifts, which is very likely, right? Uh, we might not have time to podcast each week, so. Yeah, but maybe maybe we'll do a live every once in a while yeah, or something. Totally. You know, who knows? We like doing those, so. Absolutely. Um, yeah, just keep us in the back of your mind, and uh, we'll pop in from time to time, so. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, so, other life stuff. We got a yeah. new theater in Midland. Uh, well, actually, they An renovated yeah. the theater, and we went there. Oh, my Lord, is it expensive. Uh, Very expensive. They, they put in seats. We weren't expecting that. No, we weren't. They said, <laughs> like, Here's they said would you like the heated reclining seats? And I said, yeah, absolutely. And it's only like three the, more dollars. It's only three more dollars. We're like, yup. They're like, would you like the heated reclining seats? Uh, and I go, well, yeah, of course I do. <laughs> And uh, then they say, um, yeah. you know what I was about to say. Uh, <laughs> the, Something not appropriate for our younger viewers. <laughs> um, and then so they say, you know, would you like popcorn? Well, of course we want popcorn. Yep, we split it. $38 for two tickets. Two tickets, one large popcorn and large pop for us to split. Yeah, $38. <laughs> We're like... Unbelievable. Uh, but we were some uh, of the, we were the first people to sit in those brand new seats. It was the night seats. that it opened. It was the night that it opened. So, so yeah, because we had it gone, was the first showing too. Yeah, we so had gone to the, an open house and we were like, let's, so unless let's see a movie. unless you know? there was a screening for employees before that, we were the first yeah. people to sit in those seats. That was pretty was cool. Pretty cool. But I can guarantee we aren't paying thirty eight dollars. No, I like Again, the Birch Run Theater. The Birch Run Theater is awesome. That one's it's so Emax, cool. Which yep. is kind of like IMAX but with an E. Yeah. It's uh, really cool. Yeah. I like that one a lot. With uh, the drive. We should talk about Letter Kenny. We've been oh, watching. Oh, yes. Best show ever. It's on Hulu. It's Canadian. It's Canadian. Canadian. Yep. And it's so funny. It's the best. It's amazing. We so, binged all of it that we could watch. There were six seasons and yes. Valentine's it's Day. Not, <laughs> it's probably not like suitable for children. No, no, definitely not. But it's, definitely not. it's but hilarious. It's, it's so about funny. a bunch of friends 
living in a little like town called Letterkenny and it's about well like their problems and, and it's so funny yeah it's very quotable yes very like fun dry so humor if, kind you've, of. if you've got hulu and you've been seeing like the commercials for letter kenny come up oh, just watch it just watch it because we saw the commercials we're like what is this like we thought it was really weird and we had no interest in it no not at all and then i think you just looked up the trailer because you're like what is this yeah and then it was and so it's not funny. everybody's humor like, right you might look at you might you might think that it's completely stupid uh that's and so some funny. of the humor is but that's part of what makes it so funny yeah. for us for us we thought it was hilarious like so yeah best show ever so we, yeah, we love let us it. know if you like Letter Kenny. Yeah, please do. Because <laughs> we want to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> um, what's so? What's going on with you lately? I mean, oh my gosh, work, all of work. Yeah. Still, um, you know, I won't go into detail, but just a lot of changes at work um, for me as a first-time manager. Mm -hmm. So lots of firsts for me. So I'm learning and, and growing that way. But it's been good. I really liked this change in my job. So. I'm enjoying it, but work has been the main thing in getting the house, so. Definitely. Yeah. So I guess I will go into our fitness tip. Oh, I forgot about those. Yeah, I forgot <laughs> about those. So <laughs> fitness tip this week. Uh, well, actually, I've got some pretty cool news. Mm -hmm. I have, since August of last year, lost yeah. 40 pounds. What? Mm -hmm. Yay! Congratulations. Yeah. So I knew that, but I just cool. pretended like that was new news <laughs> um, to me. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's so exciting. It's pretty nice for me. It's you uh, can really tell a difference. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I fit into all my old clothes and everything. Yay. I'm back where I uh, where I usually am. After I got out of health fitness school, like for personal training, I put on a little bit of weight just based on um, not moving all day, right. every day. I used to be in personal training school. You know, it was you'd spend hours a day in the gym between classes and your own personal workouts and training clients and yeah it was it was all the time in the gym and then when i got out of school i kept eating the way i had been in school and then not doing the same right. amount of physical activity so now i'm kind of back to where i was uh physically too my bench press is back all my numbers are pretty close to what they were my uh my cardiorespiratory endurance endurance is back to where it was so so pretty cool. pumped up about that so this week's fitness tip yeah. is going to be about motivation. Ooh. And arguably, motivation is the most important component of fitness because it doesn't matter how long it takes you to do something. It just matters that you keep doing it. Mm -hmm. And so motivation is the key factor in determining whether you're going to continue doing something. And really, the, the key to success in any fitness program, or most fitness programs, is to figure out how to stay motivated. If you can figure out how to stay motivated, eventually you're probably going to reach your goal. I mean, aside from any physical, um, aside from any physical or hormonal issues that you might have. So my my recommendations as as a personal trainer, my recommendations for staying motivated are to first off write your goals down. You need to have a specific goal in mind specific attainable goal in mind. If you are uh, 120 pounds and you want to look like Dwayne The Rock Johnson, evaluate yourself and evaluate your goals. I was picturing a woman when you were saying 120 <laughs> pounds. Sorry to me to cut No, that's all right. It was just a really funny mental image. If, but evaluate. <laughs> is, is that really, with your body type and your height and your weight, is that a realistic goal? Are, are, you, are you shooting for an attainable goal? And the answer is no, you're not. Um, if you want to look like a WWE wrestler, uh, you kind of have to have the right genetics for it and you have to be willing to take performance enhancing drugs. But, however, if you're 120 pounds, male or female, and you go, I want to put on um, muscle and I want to increase my, uh, I want to increase my lean muscle mass uh, and decrease my, um, and decrease my body fat percentage, that's that's a, a reasonable, attainable goal. Or I want to be able to run a mile without, or I want to be able to run a mile in eight minutes instead of having to walk it in 20. That's a reasonable goal. Um, almost anybody can do that. So set a reasonable goal, write it down. Another way to stay motivated is to tell people about the goal because that creates some sort of personal accountability. Like if you tell people that you've got a goal and you're doing something, you're much less likely to slide back on that 
uh, effort because you know people are kind of watching you. But that, as far as the next tip, I think one of the most important ways uh, to reach a goal, especially for someone that has a hard time, is to find uh, a buddy that is going through the same thing you are. And or that is even willing to, to, to hold you accountable. So peer pressure can be really positive. <laughs> yeah, positive <laughs> if, peer pressure. It is. Uh, if you get in with a group of people that exercise all the time, you're less likely to slide back on your habits because now you've immersed yourself in a culture that reinforces the types of habits that you're trying to develop. Because honestly, motivation and, and going towards goals, all going towards goals and attaining goals is all about maintaining good habits that get you closer to that goal. So if you go to the gym and you find a group fitness, like group fitness is a great way to start developing contacts within a fitness community and start developing a group of people to hold you accountable. Um, that's why for a lot of people things like Weight Watchers works is because you go into group meetings every single week and you you see people uh, that are going through the same thing you're going through. It becomes that are, your little community. It becomes your little community. Mm -hmm. So write things down, tell people about your goal, and find someone else to, to go through it with you and kind of be your support yeah. as well. I'm having to take a break from Weight Watchers for a little bit because we're uh, trying to save as much as yeah. we can. But I might go back, but I might, we were kind of talking about it. I might, because uh, I enjoyed the meetings. I really, really did. But I didn't really like, I don't know. I didn't really like, there, there was, it was a big difference in the age group. So it was mm -hmm. harder for me to, you know, if I had maybe one of my friends or something to go with, right. I think that would have helped me a little bit more. But, and they were great. I really, they made a Facebook group and I really liked that. Right. Um, because the Facebook group, people are always putting all their suggestions and stuff. And I, I did like that, um. And I might go back to it. I really might. Um, we were talking about, um, I think I might go do some group fitness classes. I and think that that's you, that more what it. I need, I yep. think. And um, however, I do love the like uh, free foods that they have, the free po zero points foods. And I think I want to stick to using those. I really like that. And um, going from there, and maybe if I need to track calories, just use my fitness pal to track my calories, but, but not worry about tracking my, my free foods. Right. I think that'll work out. Really well. So that's what I did, forgot that I didn't even mention about that, but um, that's kind of where I'm at with that. So. And another thing you can do is track everything. Track your food. Mm -hmm. um, track your measurements. Track your weight. I like tracking measurements. I hadn't done that this year, but um, I really like the results of that when you measure like your waist or your calf, and exactly. you know you measure like everything, you know, biceps, and I like to see that. And I like to tell people don't weigh yourself more than once a week because you can put on as much as you know five to ten pounds just in water weight depending on what you eat over the course of a day and really ideally you should be weighing yourself like twice a month uh, as opposed to every week to kind of account for those fluctuations but measurements are are another great way yeah and tracking your food intake you can use myfitnesspal.com it's they've got apps on on their uh, phone free. as well um myplate.gov if you want to pull your hair out you're welcome to use that too uh, but they tracking food has been uh, tracking your intake of food has been shown to significantly increase um adherence to to weight loss programs in studies so all right so that's as far as i've got for uh fitness tips for this week all right do you have anything else you want to talk about I probably do, but I can't think of anything right I now. <laughs> I know that afterwards I'm like, oh, I should have talked about that. Oh. We are talking about going out to the city forest today and uh, taking a walk around there. Mm -hmm. I'm getting back into Pokemon Go. It's Pokemon Go is great. It's fun. I really like it. It is I, great. I uh, went to sign in like around Christmas time, and I couldn't sign back in. <laughs> I, you like, lost your I lost all of it, and so I am started over. So I'm trying to get back, <laughs> back up to where I was before the nicer weather. So... But yeah, there's like a ton of poke uh, stops in uh, City Forest, so we might go over Nice. There. But, and it's good exercise. I really it's like walking exercise. around there. We walked four miles last time. Mm -hmm. And I felt it. Yeah. I really felt it. You did. So, yeah. But yeah, I think that's all. Gosh, I think that's all I've got. Um, I really can't think of anything else right now. But we're glad to, to be able to give you guys another podcast, give yes. you guys an update. We're really excited about this new house. Uh, we're oh also gosh, so really, really, we've gone on a couple of um, 
We've done a couple of open houses so far, That's and fine. we've liked what we've seen. We like what we see in the area, um, but we're right now we're kind of like holding out until a little bit later in the spring. Um, you know, we we're, we're looking more within more the next. Every day. Everything's popping up now, and I kind of want to be able to inspect a house without all the snow on the ground. And because we get flooding here, we do get flooding here. So it'll be and good to see. Well, like which houses flood and which yeah. ones don't. And so just there's going to be a much better selection as you know in the next couple of weeks There's going to be a much better selection of houses. Yeah. So yeah, we're really excited about that We're really excited for the shop update coming up. I think you guys are gonna absolutely love it I'll try and post stuff on Instagram all week so you can kind of see previews of the yarn that's gonna be in there Yes. Um, like I said one of a kind stuff that you haven't ever seen and won't ever see in the shop again. I thought of something. Um, we wanted to mention too, as far as the, the shop, we, um, going forward, we're not going to be accepting any more custom orders just because we don't know. Right. We have we no know. idea what's going to be. Well, so we just want to commit some, to something. We've had some issues trying to get some yarn from our supplier. Yes, we've got two more custom orders we're trying to fulfill um, on a base, that, a base that we're not carrying anymore, but we're just trying to get the last of it from our supplier and they haven't restocked it's been it. months yeah months so, so we're hoping to yeah to rectify that somehow but we're so, in trouble with that so yeah we're hoping to we're hoping to get this shop update you know online and be able to clear out a lot of the stock that we got sitting downstairs less for us to move oh you know gosh. that's yes we have, we have a, a lot, lot more than stuff. we thought <laughs> i've got we got a lot more than we thought i've got so many tools to move i got a lot of yarn you got a lot of yarn <laughs> so so, and if you guys have anything in specific or specifically that you'd like to see in the shop update, comment below. Yeah, let uh, us know. We could, we could try and accommodate that and, and because like I said, I don't know what we're going to have time to die yeah. this summer and this fall. It all depends on what happens with our job situations. Yeah. So, so yeah. So keep us in mind and let us know what you guys are up to and we will see oh, you. Question of the week. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Question. Ooh, what should our question be? What did you guys do for Valentine's Day? Yeah. Should we, should we talk about our Valentine's curse? Oh my God. We got to talk about our Valentine's curse. Yes. Wow. Uh, it's the worst. Okay. So Valentine's Day is a cursed day for us. And I'm not superstitious. I don't believe in stuff but except for in this instance. It is. It is. Okay. Every time. First Valentine's Day. First Valentine's Day together. What happened four days before? Uh, my father passed away. Yes. Yeah. That was that was our first Valentine's Day together. Second Valentine's Day together. What happened? Uh, I was sick. Very, very sick. Like sinus infection. Like, like couldn't breathe out. <laughs> like I was very sick. Third Valentine's Day together. What we, happened? We went out to eat, and I got sick. And we went out to eat. <laughs> Fourth Valentine's Day together. What happened? Oh, uh, threw on my back <laughs> at work, <laughs> lifting a labradoodle. <laughs> Fifth Valentine's Day like, together. To the point that I was mobile. <laughs> like, Fifth Valentine's Day. I couldn't even like turn over. Like Fifth Valentine's Day. <laughs> what happened? Oh gosh, which one was that last year? Mm -mm. Year before last. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> My dental cleaning. Um yes. I think that was when I, we were talking about this a couple days ago. I think it was I got a dental cleaning and um had found out I had cavities. <laughs> had to get had to get fillings. Yep. <laughs> Sixth uh, this year, right? No. Yeah, no, it would be this year. Yep. Yep, because the first year we were together, we were going into our first year being yep. together when we had our first Valentine's so Day. So yeah. this year, this year, <laughs> we're like no plans. We're not making no any plans. plans whatsoever. So I made the mistake <laughs> of secretly making plans because I thought that maybe the problem with the plans. Or the problem with Valentine's Day was we always made plans together. So I made plans. I decided I would take Tiffany out bowling. A nice romantic night bowling. We love bowling. We love it. Because, you know. We're not like good at it, but we love it. I mean, know, you're, you're okay at it, I'm but, okay, but I'm gutter ball every time. Every time. <laughs> it's a great way for me to feel good about myself. Uh, but anyway, so I figured nice romantic night of bowling. And then we'd go get pizza. Uh, love pizza. We were going to get pretzel crust cheese pizza oh, from so, Little Caesars because... So we're trash and so we good. love little caesars it's amazing pretzel crust pizza above all other pizzas out there it's our favorite thing it's so good because and it came back it was gone so it came back yeah but yeah so we went to go bowling 
Not saying the people that like Little Caesars are trash. That's a joke. Please don't get offended. Oh yeah, no, well, um, obviously not. But um, but, but we are trash. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, <laughs> but anyway, so, we went to go bowling. And yeah. So we went to go bowling, <laughs> and the bowling alley was completely closed to open bowling. They only had league bowling available. Right, because you had called ahead to the one in town. Yep, and yep. they had league bowling. And I figured that the other one didn't because... Because right, there's one just outside of town. There was one just outside of town, and it's a lot smaller. And I figured, like, what are the chances both bowling alleys would have league bowling? So I didn't even think to call ahead. So they had league bowling. So we, we turn, went all the way out there. All the way out there. So we turn around and go to Little Caesars to pick up our... Oh, we even considered going ice skating, but we, <laughs> we said, considering the curse, yep. we were not going ice skating. No, not in a million Cause it, years. Because I've got weak ankles as it is. Yeah. I've blown my ankle, I had surgery, blew it out again, like, it's just bad. So I was like, I love ice skating, but was not doing it. Not that day. Yeah, so we decided to go to Little Caesars to pick up dinner, which is stuffed <laughs> cheesy bread pizza. I about this. And we're hungry at this point. We're just starving. Cause, yeah. And we we put our order in ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Online. I think or did you call? Called you called? Okay. Yeah. So she called. We get into Little Caesars, and it's like 20 minutes after we put the order in. Uh -huh. And they don't have it ready. And we're like, whatever, no problem. Yeah, they're like, oh, so it's just a couple it, minutes. As it turns out, other people are as... Uh, other people have the same low standards that we do for Valentine's Day dinner. Um, it was busy. It was it hopping. It was very busy. Uh, <laughs> we're not. We did get wine. We got oh, Barefoot, barefoot Rosé. It was very good. Yeah. Yep. An $8 bottle of wine and Little and that Caesars was the first piece drink, is what you get. That was the first um, drink you had in like, since summer, right? I, I well, except I wouldn't Except for communion really, wine. Yeah, except for communion wine. <laughs> you get a wine. Commun communion wine every Sunday, but. I wouldn't. I wouldn't really call it a drink though. I mean, it was like just yeah. like a little bit in the bottom of the glass, but it just messes uh, with his heart. Yeah. So we get to Little Caesars and they tell us it's going to be a couple of minutes. So we're waiting and it's another like 15 <laughs> minutes and now it's been like 35 minutes since we've ordered. And people pizza. are coming and going. People are coming and going, picking up their orders. Uh, and so the girl says, um, and she was, no, the guy, it was, it the, was guy. the guy. Yeah. He, he was terrified and he goes, so. Like um, we finishing. messed up your order. It's going to be another 20 minutes. And we just started cracking up. Like, we, we weren't even mad. Okay. We started laughing at him. And I think he thought we were a little crazy. Yeah. Uh, which is also true. Very but, true. Um, so, trashy and crazy. <laughs> <laughs> trashy and crazy. Um, so, he started you know, kind of like smiling nervously, you know, and we're like, it's okay, it's okay, man. But he, cause he didn't know the backstory no. of the Valentine's Day curse. No. And so finally, after 50 minutes of waiting, 55 minutes of waiting, we finally get our pizza, get it home and, and eat it. And thankfully, oh, and they gave us a free pop. And they gave us free pop. So that yeah. was nice. Yeah, yeah. Little Caesars is actually really good pizza. Oh, we just joke about it because the $5 uh, or the five ninety nine hot and ready's. When you could have like gourmet pizza. You can. Like everybody everybody thinks about them as the five ninety nine hot and ready's, but if you order if you go to Little Caesars and you order their um Lil Little or Little is it Lil? <laughs> Lil or Little? <laughs> Lil I can't say Lil. Lil Caesars or Little Caesars? Is it kinda of like Lil I don't know what you're talking about. L I L I know but... or L I T T L E. But... In, what, in re reference to what? It's Little Caesars. Oh, I thought maybe it was Little Caesars. <laughs> no. I didn't know. Anyway, it's really good if you go there and you and you order like an actual made-to-order pizza. They're freaking phenomenal. Good pizza. Well, what I was saying is that we could have like some really fancy pizza at some fancy place, and we choose. Oh yeah. Okay. Little well, you Caesars. had a you had a client one time. We had gone to Pizza Sam's. Um, which is a an actual, like... It's a pizza, like a locally owned pizza, pizzeria. Yeah, it's really good. Like, and, and that's what they do. They're, yeah, they're not a good. chain. They're locally owned. Like, they're really good pizzeria. And we had, you had a client one time that, and you suggested going to Pizza Sam. Oh, yeah. And she goes, and because this is Midland. Um, she, what'd she say? 
she was like shocked that yeah. I recommended that because <laughs> they were going out for a birthday. So, oh, you could go to Pizza Sans. They were like, oh. She, oh no, we can do better than that. That's what she said. Which is, that's Midland. Um, <laughs> that cracked me up. Because. Cracked me up. There's a culture here where, um, there is a culture here that's, it, it can be a little bit, um. Fancy. Fancy. That's a good way to put it, yeah. <laughs> like eating pizza in your tuxedo kind of fancy. <laughs> so we are not that. We are far from that. We are no. Little Caesars. We are Little, little <laughs> Caesars. I think they missed an op a marketing opportunity. Okay, I need to look it up now. I'm pretty sure it's Little Caesars. Little Caesars. It's got to be Little Caesars. I didn't know if you were trying to say... Yeah, it it's is little. little. I didn't know if you were trying to say that they had like a pizza that was called like a little something. And I thought that's what you were going to That's an amazing marketing strategy. <laughs> Like a little pizza or something. <laughs> I'll take a 10% cut off of that. Yeah. Is it nope. a little Caesars? <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway. Um, so, yeah, Valentine's Day was great. Uh, that's what we did for Valentine's Day. What yeah. did you guys do for Valentine's Day? Yeah, let us Day? know. Oh, we watched Letterkenny. Because they had a... PG rated. Valentine's... Please. Yes, please. <laughs> Valentine's Day is what yep. the Letterkenny Letter episode Kenny. was. So yep. it was fun. And hockey. I think we watched hockey. So what did you get for Valentine's Day? I got a mixer. I got a big KitchenAid mixer for our house. And I was so excited because I always wanted one. And I didn't even ask for it. So that was really cool. You got a you surprised me with that Classic Plus mixer. Oh, I'm sorry. Which yes, is Classic Plus. Which is 300... <laughs> 275 watts of power as opposed to the regular classic so which is 250. It was I, one of the appliances we didn't have yet mm -hmm. and I've been wanting one so bad so yep. and you also got me a, a pioneer woman kitchen towel that has a basset hound on it and it says woof. Yep <laughs> uh, but yeah the, so the KitchenAid Classic Plus I got that for $200 brand new at Target they were having a sale on them and so cool. they're usually a lot more expensive than that so I was pretty Pretty excited that I found that deal. I'm so thrilled. I had no idea that was happening. And I got Super Mario Odyssey. Yeah, it's for your Switch. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and I got some snacks. Yes. Some good snacks. Gotta have the snacks. And you got some balloons that... Are some, still hanging. They're still hanging. Like, we... Like, they're not even floating they're down. They're behind the camera. Like, they're not yeah. even, like, deflated at all. Yeah, they're just a little bit, but they're, they haven't... Like, they're still, like... I'm, they're not like floating down. I'm kind of like concerned that there's <laughs> like alien technology. There? Yeah, like what's going on with these Good balloons? thing we didn't inhale those ones and do the I weird know. voices, you know? I know. Might, uh, might stay like that. I wonder what it would sound like if a dog got all the helium. Oh my gosh, that'd be so funny. Can you imagine like <laughs> sounding like a chihuahua? <laughs> that'd be so funny. But yeah, we're, we're actually really interested to find out what you guys did yeah, on your know. Valentine's Day. Do you have a Valentine's Day a curse? Do you have a Valentine's Day curse? I so hope we do. not. <laughs> Man, it, it gets to the point where I'm kind of like, I get kind of worried around Valentine's Day now. I'm like, what's going to happen? At least like lately, it hasn't been like bad, bad stuff. It's just been kind of like comical. Yeah, the first year was the worst yeah, for obvious reasons. Yeah, that was horrible. But, um, and then when I threw my back out, that really sucked because I couldn't really walk. You couldn't walk. Even, like roll over or walk yeah. or anything. Like yeah. that was. I feel like the Valentine's Day curse mostly centers around you though. Mm -hmm. I can't think of really, I I no, you're like just like a like an innocent bystander. bystander. Yeah. <laughs> Poor thing. So yeah. I'm I, glad we didn't go ice skating. I think that would have been ended that badly. That would have been catastrophic, is what that would have been. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I hope you guys are doing great, and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, no idea when we'll be back, but um, hopefully, maybe we can keep up on Instagram a little bit better now that we've had our little break. So. You can always find us there. Um, and I try to try to cross post to Facebook too if you don't have Instagram. So, yep. But yeah. All right, guys. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye.